Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Thursday, October the 6th, 2016. Since the last video, as you can see looking at the chart of JNUG, you can see that the Federal Reserve, the central banks, they had no choice. They have no more bullets left in their gun. So now in order to raise funds for their continued enterprise of manipulation and fraud they have no choice but to dump millions and billions of dollars worth of paper gold onto the market this drives down the price of gold it's a raid but it's a short-term raid because I'm here to tell you that unbeknownst to the masses there is another leg coming in the global currency war and the rush toward natural resources what they are not telling you versus what they are telling you is two different things they want the holders of precious metals to become so disgusted that they start to relinquish their physical that's what they want you to do so that they can buy up all the physicals at a discounted price that's what this is about what you need to understand is that as a result of decades worth of fraud and manipulation and purposely destroying the nation's economies of the world a rare situation has occurred that they cannot control that situation is the explosion the pending explosion in gold and silver prices this in turn will help to lift the mining shares to astronomical levels this action that has taken place excuse me on the weekly chart is setting up and setting the stage for the most enormous bull run in precious metals in my lifetime or any other lifetime for that matter I cannot stress to you the urgency of this situation what I'm talking about is more important than the hurricane Matthew that it is hitting landfall this has implications that will last for your children and your children's children's future the hurricane will come and it will go but what's about to take place in the precious metal space is going to be a long lasting effect what do I mean by this nations of the world outside of the US sovereign wealth funds etc behind the scenes are accumulating as much physical as they can in turn they are also secretly positioning themselves to participate in driving up the price of the precious metals and the paper markets as well they know that their actions cannot not affect the paper market remember what I've taught you going all the way back to 2009 2010 when I first came to YouTube one of the first tenets of trading and market dynamics and manipulation that I taught you is that before they balloon and bubble something up they crash it first they are losing control and this is about to be exposed I also warned you about the Federal Reserve's defense of the US dollar they have no choice but to keep that dollar propped up the stock market is never going down again I've already exposed and explained that to you the up and down situations you've been seeing for the last five trading sessions is nothing but range-bound trading 
no supports have been taken out the stock market is never going down again they're setting up to make the stock market go to heights you have not seen I'm telling you 20 to 50 thousand Dow before this is all said and done it's going to be ridiculous the mining shares are going to run a thousand five thousand ten thousand percent right around right along with the gold and silver physicals the paper market will be along for the ride as well this is a rare situation it is a currency war gold and silver are currencies and right now it's looking like the dollar is winning that's what they want you to think they're about to lose control of that too because as the precious metals take off it is going to put them in a very very difficult situation because then they won't be able to keep the stock market going afloat and prop the dollar up at the same time so it's it's going to be ridiculous going forward so what's going to end up happening is they're going to they're going to release the reins on the dollar they won't be able to defend it much longer and it, cuz they're going to have to put all the money into the stock market and they won't be able to suppress the gold and silver paper prices anymore either so they're going to make that also go um and it's just going to be bananas it's going to be ridiculous so I'm warning everyone right now and decide, all those on the side of my voice if you missed out on the first run up here of this long term basis building for this enormous bull market rally I strongly urge you to get ready you do not want to miss this when we start having gapping up days of several dollars in the J nug and also in the nugget alright let me show you those charts so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about as you can see nuggets looking the same it's testing the bottom support level of the Kumo cloud right now alright the market is oversold when this bounce to the upside comes it's going to be bananas alright you cannot forget what I've taught you about gapping this gap is going to need to be filled even if the market continues down for a few more days again this here has to be dealt with this gap is not going to be left unfilled neither is this gap alright so you have two major gaps that need to be filled that's going to send the price back above 15 on the JNUG right now it's a 993 you know it's going to go somewhere in here before it hits resistance at 1692 all right, so your upward levels of resistance now is 1298, 16.92, and $20.20 before getting back up in here somewhere. Understand what's about to take place. Likewise, in the nugget, up upward resistance is at 1450, 1812, and $20.81 before getting into the air pocket, which is the, bo uh, the bottom of the Kumo cloud which is a thin layer, a thin veiled layer so that's gonna uh, serve as a, as a very weak uh, resistance help blast it back to the 27 and a half get it back up to the 30 build a base here around the 27 and a half and then we should be able to boogie and you're looking at about mm, probably forty dollars before the next supports levels have to be built and this is a nugget looking at your GLD major gap up in here major gap here up up uh, overhead resistance is at 122.14 124.79 and 125.85 puts it into the Kumo cloud of death and then from there the next support levels to be built for the next up, upward thrust will be at 128 building up toward the 130 getting up to about 134 build, pulling back building the base back at 130 blasting off to 140 and 150 looking at, at the gold futures it's acting and responding and doing exactly what I told you was going to do I told you that the 1250 level would be where the support line is and that it would be in play and that's exactly what is happening right now so even if this market were to pull back down here toward the top of the Kumo cloud again uh, you're looking at the 1217 level again you have a you have a, uh, a, a sloping 
thin cloud here, which normally serves as very, um, very weak support. What that means is there are times where you can parabolically dip below it, but it's, it's, it has like a rubber band effect and it pops right back up. This is a sloper, so it's almost like a ramp that helps to propel back up again. So 1377.6 is going to be the first upward thrust level of resistance. Pulling back to the 1350, building your base, and then taking off and getting back up to 1390, and then of course back up to 1400. 1400 is the psychological barrier, but it's going to be a very strong support in the first parabolic move in the goal going forward. I cannot stress to you enough how much this is going to play out and how much you're going to see it before your eyes you're going to want to bookmark this video so that you can use this as a reference going forward because as this happens it's going to blow you away step by step the support levels and resistance levels that I've been giving you watch how they play out and how the algorithms and bots kick in at those levels to help propel the markets to where they're going to be going now looking at First Majestic, First Majestic, uh, Majestic is acting just like, um, just like the gold chart. Just how I showed you. All right. So here you are. Here, the market has this gap that is not dealt with. This gap has not been dealt with. All right. So you know here again, super sloper on this one. This one should be propelled way up into over 20 when it gets its first takeoff 20 will be the new major support going forward as this pushes up to 30 and 40 get ready because once you hit the ramp you're not gonna have much time uh, to do a lot in this one this is going to be fabulous all right and this is AG all right looking at pretty Ricky Richmond look Richmont is already at the support level and it didn't even come to the trend line support level but look at the super ramp on this one guys I cannot stress to you enough how high these mining shares are going to explode to the upside and you're oversold here I can't stress it enough alright I'll be making another video uh, I just want to make this one short uh, this is the dollar index. See how they've been defending it, and you can see how it's still in a negative pulse wave situation. They're doing all they can to try to make this thing go, but it's this is the inverse of the other chart that I showed you. The ramp is on the downside on this one, which is going to help to catapult prices lower, and it's going to be disastrous. So, just wanted to let you know about that. Remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So, remember to take what you can, give nothing back. Ming in the global currency war and the rush toward natural resources what they are not telling you versus what they are telling you is two different things they want the holders of precious metals to become so disgusted that they start the Federal Reserve the central banks they had no choice they have no more bullets left in their gun so now in order to raise funds for their continued enterprise of manipulation and fraud they have no choice but to dump millions and billions of thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan report this end of day report is for trading on Thursday October the 6th 2016 since the last video, as you can see, looking at the chart of JNUG, you can see that dollars worth of paper gold onto the market. This drives down the price of gold. It's a raid, but it's a short-term raid. Because I'm here to tell you that, unbeknownst to the masses, there is another leg come out to relinquished their physical that's what they want you to do so that they can buy up all the physicals at a discounted price that's what this is about what you need to understand is that as a result of decades worth 
of